The Mario movie has just come out this past Wednesday. What is up, everybody? I am Jake, your guy that, that talks to you, screams down your ear on Movie Smoothie. And today we're talking a little bit about the Mario movie. Now, this is one of the first formal reviews I've done on this page, but typically how I run reviews is I like to give you a little non-spoiler section where I kind of give you my basic thoughts without any spoilers. And then the rest of the video... Spoiler territory. So if you have not seen Mario yet, watch the next little bit of this video, but then after that, I would cut it off. I would not, you know, this goes against everything I should be saying as a YouTuber with retention and all that BS, but you know what? Just, just don't watch that part if you haven't seen the movie yet. All right, now let's get into it. I was genuinely impressed by the Mario movie. This is a solid 8 out of 10. I went into this with some middle-of-the-road expectations. I wasn't the biggest fan of Chris Pratt being Mario. I know, real original take, right? But honestly, Chris Pratt does a pretty pretty good job and they do something early on in the film that totally won me over with the character that I really wasn't expecting. I do really like the rest of the voice cast though, including Charlie Day as Luigi, Anya Taylor-Joy as Peach, and Jack Black being major standouts. And Keegan-Michael Key as Toad is absolutely hilarious throughout. I think honestly out of everyone who did the most voice work, Keegan is probably the one that I put up there the highest. I'll get around the corner! Now I'm gonna make the sounds I made when I was in my regular voice and Toad voice. <laughs> you can tell at some moments they definitely pitch transposed his voice. But at other times, not so much. And it's like a really good impression of Toad. Keegan-Michael Key, man. Little golf clap for you. Killing it, man. Besides that, too, I think the plot is mostly handled pretty well. Maybe my only criticism about it is how they handle a certain character, but we'll talk about that in the spoiler section. The animation is gorgeous, too. There was one scene, once again, at the beginning, they was so important to impress us at the beginning of this movie, and I think they effectively did that. There's this little sequence where Mario's just running, running around through all these, like, pipes and stuff in Brooklyn, and it's like, wow, this is really good. <laughs> oh my god, this is, this is a Mario movie, man. It really puts that 1993 movie to shame. That's what I'm gonna say. I loved the Mario movie. I thought it was a blast. Little things here and there, but besides that, it's awesome. Fans of the games will also really like this movie too. There is a reference in every single shot. I, I wish I was joking, but, I but I'm not. But I mean, every shot, there is something. Every plot point is some kind of reference to some other game, which I'll admit does get a little egregious, especially in the third act. But overall, I thought it was really fun. It was, it's exactly what it needed to be and maybe even a little more. But now it's time to get into spoilers. God, I can't believe Bowser brutally murdered the entire cast of this movie. It was a real shock of an ending, let me tell you. Okay, but seriously, let's talk about this movie a little more in depth. Opening scene, we basically already seen it in the trailer. It's, yeah, it's the, the whole penguin scene. It's hilarious. I love it. That was only a taste of our theory. That's so funny. I love it. It's super cute. I wish the penguins had more to do in this movie, but once again, they're a tiny reference to a tiny part of the game. So yes, they did have an appropriate amount of screen time, but like at the same time, man, I would have loved to have seen more of them. Like they're kind of in the dungeon or whatever later on, but it's like, they don't really do anything. You know, the ice power that Peach gets? I don't know. I mean, you could have worked something out there to where they could have been the ones to deliver that to her instead of Toad magically having it in his pocket. I'm just saying, man. Listen, I know it's a kid's movie, but I'm just saying there's cool little things they could have set up here. I love how they introduce Mario and Luigi. It makes sense. It's perfect. It's it, If you would have had a whole movie of them going, wahoo, the whole time, it would have gotten kind of annoying. And they address that right at the beginning. Like, that was the best way to do that. Hats off to the Illumination team. Everyone who wrote this movie, writer, director, all the creatives behind this. Just 10 out of 10. Love the way they introduce these characters. It's funny and meta too. It's these nice little unexpected flavors that I just wasn't expecting from a Mario movie. I love when a movie immediately impresses you too, because like whatever they do next, it's like, okay, I'm already in. I'm in it. I, I believe this movie. I'm on this movie's side. And I wasn't on this movie's side walking into the, into the theater. And the rest of the movie didn't disappoint. Like I do have little tiny criticisms here and there, but it's nothing that takes away from the big scope of it. One thing I'll praise about the film is I love the way that they handled the Peach character. They didn't just do the damsel in distress thing because that would have sucked. Typically when you have a plot line like this, you just have your female love interest character do nothing the whole movie and that's really boring. So Peach actually got something to do this movie, which was great, but they kind of replaced that whole plot line with Luigi instead, and then just Luigi did nothing this movie. Charlie Day is hilarious in the role. I mostly love the writing in the beginning, but then later on in the film, he's just in a cage the whole movie and doesn't really affect the plot at all. There is a nice little reference to like the baby Mario thing, which is funny, but like once again, it just doesn't go anywhere. Luigi's arc in this movie is, ah, my brother saves me all the time. So hopefully that happens. It's just not very interesting. I think they could have done something a little better with Luigi. Like he could have just been part of the main group. 
that would have been fine. Charlie Day is great, man. I can always use more of him. I love that Luigi 2 is basically just Charlie Day's character from Always Sunny, but like the G-rated version of that. He has those little Charlie-isms throughout this that are really funny, and it's really nice. It's, it's a nice touch. Once again, a lot of great character work done on some of these more underdeveloped characters like Luigi and Peach. Like, Peach has this whole backstory, and you're like, whoa, this is cool, man. She's a respected leader of the Mushroom Kingdom. I'm starting to sound like a dork. Let's move on to the next thing. Seth Rogen is Donkey Kong. I thought was really funny. He has a more of a limited role in this, kind of like a secondary antagonist midway through the movie, but then, you know, kind of turns into a good guy, of course. He's Donkey Kong. He's a big old monkey. We love him. And you can't tell me that they didn't have Seth Rogen just go in at one point and be like, hey, can you just do the laugh a couple of times? Because when we're doing the whole Mario Kart bit, we want to just have some laughs. We just, we just want to implement that into it. It's not important to the plot at all, but it'll make people laugh. And oh boy, it did. Let me tell you, there are just some random Seth Rogen laughs in the middle of that Mario Kart race. And like, it's totally unprecedented and it's pretty funny. It's like a kick in the nuts. It's always going to be a little funny. <laughs> but like, the man who steals the show here is absolutely Jack Black. So funny. And once again, builds on top of of what Bowser already is. Canonically now, Bowser is a metalhead, which I really like. And there's also this whole little like song bit that he does, which is really funny. Peaches, 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 peaches. And once again, you can't really convince me that's not just Jack Black ad-libbing. Like it totally is. He's totally just went to the booth and was like, peaches, peaches, I want to marry you. This is the plot of the movie. And that's hilarious, man. That's what Jack Black does best. Crisp Rat as Mario also isn't like that bad. Like I, there are a few moments where I'm like, maybe he's phoning it in here, but there are also some really fun moments that he has throughout the film too. The very beginning, I really like him. Like, I think he's really funny. He has some nice moments. It's like, okay, uh, cool. You're not a voice actor, Chris, but I appreciate this. And then also later on in the film, I really like his banter with Donkey Kong. Like, it's funny. It's good stuff. I feel like I'm going to get in trouble for saying this, but Chris Pratt was actually pretty good as Mario. Am I gonna get in trouble? I feel like I'm gonna get like crucified by the internet. People are just gonna start murdering me in my house if I if I say that too loud. The whole cat Mario meow line was a little weird and also the same joke from the Sonic movie from a couple of years ago. But at the same time, I guess it's practice for him being Garfield whenever the heck that movie comes out. And lastly, I do wanna talk about some of the references, which there are a lot and a lot of them are great. Like, you know, Luigi runs into Luigi's mansion at one point where he then gets captured by shy guys. It's like, okay, that's really cool. That's a nice little reference reference nice little plot point cool but then I was talking about later on like there's some weird stuff where it's like this is only in the movie to be a reference to the games and it was a bit much I think the references in this movie are mostly great but sometimes like that ice flower thing they're kind of just there to be a reference and they had no set, set up in the plot whatsoever up oh, up oh, that they did it they did that's the thing that's the thing from the game they're kind of expecting you to do that a few times here where I'm like okay it's getting a little much but I do appreciate the references like the attention to detail is phenomenal in this film like there's this whole traveling montage where they're going through all the different lands from Mario and it's like the attention to detail is amazing. You get to see Mario like mess up a hundred times on like a different course and it, it's very reminiscent of the first time I played Mario because I am absolutely trash at that game. Terrible. Like don't play Mario with me. It won't be fun. I, I'll just be screaming. It'll be bad. But even though I have a few little nitpicks here and there, this movie accomplished exactly what it needed to and then maybe even a little more. It has these really unexpected flavors about it. Like it has this meta humor to it too. It's really funny. Like it has some really really, really funny moments for a kid's movie. Maybe this is cringe, but I love Illumination. I think they're a really good company. I think they put out some pretty dang good movies, and this is another one of them. Mario movie gets like an 8 out of 10 for me. I really liked it. Little things here and there, but overall, really fun film. Mario fans will love this one. So go see it this weekend with your friends, family, kids, whatever. You guys will have a great time. Thank you all so much for watching my Mario movie review. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more movie reviews and such in the future. Check out my main page, Killjoy Jake, where I talk exclusively about horror movies. That kind of explains all the stuff back here. Don't forget to support me on Patreon if you want to see this channel grow, and I'll see you in the next one, Space Cowboy.